Peter preached the message. And toward the end of his message, in verse number 19, he says, Repent ye therefore and be converted that your sins may be blotted out when the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. And he shall send Jesus Christ, which before was preached unto you, whom the heaven must receive until the times of restitution of all things, which God hath spoken by the mouth of all his holy prophets since the world began. And Peter continues to preach, and as he gets toward the end of his message, where am I reading? No, that's Acts chapter 3. I wonder, I'm, yeah, I wonder why it ain't saying what I thought it was supposed to say. <laughs> Okay. All right. So can, so Peter continues to preach in Acts chapter 2. And those that had gathered at Jerusalem to celebrate the, the uh, Pentecost asked the question. Let me read here. Let me see now. I'm going to read it. Verse 22. Ye men of Israel, Peter said, hear these words. Jesus of Nazareth, a man approved of God among you, by miracles and wonders and signs which God did by him in the midst of you, as ye yourselves also know, him being delivered by the determinate counsel and foreknowledge of God, ye have taken and by wicked hands have crucified and slain, whom God hath raised up, having loosed the pains of death, because it was not possible that he should be holden of it. Hallelujah. <laughs> For David speaking concerning him, I foresaw the Lord always before my face, for he is on my right hand that I should not be moved. Therefore did my heart rejoice and my tongue was glad. Moreover also my flesh shall rest in hope, because thou wilt not leave my soul in hell, neither wilt thou suffer thine holy one to see corruption. Thou hast made known to me the ways of life, Thou shalt make me full of joy with thy countenance. Men and brethren, let me freely speak unto you of the patriarch David, that he is both dead and buried, and his sepulcher is with us unto this day. Therefore, being a prophet, and knowing that God had sworn with an oath to him, that of the fruit of his loins, according to the flesh, he would raise up Christ to sit on his throne. He, seeing this before, spake of the resurrection of Christ, that his soul was not left in hell, neither his flesh did see corruption. This Jesus hath God raised up, whereof we all are witnesses. Therefore, being by the right, right hand of God exalted, and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, he hath shed forth this which ye now see and hear. For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he saith himself, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, until I make thy foes thy footstool. Therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus, whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Now, here's the important part. Now when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? This is the first time in the history of the Christian church that the question is ever asked, What do we have to do to be saved? What must we do? Peter answered and said unto them, very clear, very concise, no question marks, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Peter answers the question, what are we to do? You're to repent and be baptized. How are you to be baptized? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what reason? For the remission of sins. There, he didn't offer anybody an out. He didn't say this is for the Jew and not the Gentile. That's the teaching of the Roman church. They try to tell you that baptism in Jesus' name was for the Jews, but it was not for the Gentiles. No, sir. Peter said at Pentecost he was preaching. He had Romans that were in the audience. Mm -hmm. 
He had Gentiles in the audience. He had Jews in the audience. And he said, repent and be baptized, every one of you. Mm -hmm. So who? Everyone. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. For what purpose? For the remission of sin. And today we have come to baptize Brother Richard in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for the remission of sin according to the scriptures. Amen. I like to say in apostolic fashion. That's the way the apostles baptized. The old song says, if it's good enough for Paul and Silas, it's good enough for me. Amen. And we know from the history of the early church, there is no record of anyone ever being baptized using the words Father, Son, and Holy Ghost until the third century. Absolutely no record. The, the the clear record, even secular historians record, that the early Christian church baptized only in the name of Jesus Christ. And that baptismal formula was changed in 325 A.D. after the Council of Nicaea. The Roman Catholic early church fathers decided they wanted to incorporate the doctrine of the Trinity into the baptismal formula. And uh, you do not take the name of Jesus out of the baptism process. For the word of God tells us there is no other name given among men under heaven whereby we must be saved. Amen. It's an old song Amen. we sing that says, it's the one that convinced me of my need to be baptized in Jesus' name. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. All other ground is sinking sand. I dare not trust a sweeter frame, but holy, woo, glory, holy lean on Jesus' name. Amen. So today, it is the name of the Lord Jesus that does the work, not the water. That's right. It's not the preacher. It's the name. That's why it's so important that we be baptized in Jesus' name. Because without the name, you just get wet. Amen. All right, Brother Richard, we're going to make our way down in here now. You can get your shoes off. I'll get in first, I suppose. <laughs> All right, be careful now. That might be the better way to do it. Yeah, that was going to be hard. No, that's all right. It's all right, God. You won't be yeah. here very long. It's all right, God. <laughs> Amen. Amen. All right, let me turn so that you come this way. We'll make sure I don't bang your head when we go down. All right, there you go. Brother Richard Shaver, I'm going to ask you two questions. One, I ask you, do you come to these waters today freely and of your own will to be baptized? I do. Do you believe today that Jesus Christ was born of the Virgin Mary, lived a sinless life, died on the cross of Calvary for you and me, rose again on the third day, and has ascended to the throne of God to one day return for his church? I do. I do. Amen. All right, now you can put your hands up across your face if you'd like. It's just going to take a second. Richard Shaver, upon your profession of faith, I baptize you in the name. of Jesus Christ for the remission of sin in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Amen. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. It's all right. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Praise God. Amen. Yes, Lord. Touch him, Lord, in Jesus' name. Touch him, Lord, in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Not by mind nor by power, but by my spirit, saith the Lord. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. All right. Amen. Praise God. You all right, kid? Amen. Well, there's one, one, one. 
One way to God. One, one, one. One way to God. One, one, one. One way to God. Baptized in Jesus' name. Like they did it in the Bible. One way to God, like they did it in the Bible. One way to God, like they did it in the Bible. One way to God, baptized in Jesus' name. Well, there's one, one, one. One way to God. One, one, one. One way to God. One, one, one. One way to God, baptized in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let's give the Lord a round of praise. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. You're full? Amen. Amen. Yes, amen. Holy Ghost. Praise God. Amen. Yeah. I'll help you from behind.